What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the changes coming to the Templar here in update 37 in the Elder Scrolls Online. Now of course the update is already out on PC. If you're like me, you play on console. We don't have to wait much longer for this update. It's going to be out pretty soon. But I want to kind of do these videos for everyone out there on console, kind of wondering exactly what's going to change uh, with some of the classes. So today we're going to cover the Templar. Not a lot of changes coming to the Templar class in general, but a few things. Uh, first of all, Adric Spear Radial Sweep, the Everlasting Sweep, it used to, of course, be Empowering Sweep. They increased the duration of the pulsing damage over time to 10 seconds at base, up from 6 seconds. This morph no longer grants in power, as Solar Flare and its morphs already grant this buff. As such, the name has been adjusted to prevent confusion. Uh, Dawn's Wrath, Backlash, they fixed an issue where the ability and the Purifying Light Morph were considered mag magical melee damage, rather than magical range damage. Note that the pure, uh, the power of light, excuse me, was already considered martial range damage and has not changed. Eclipse, Living Dark Morph, they fixed an issue where the ability's visuals could cause you to appear invisible in some cases. They also fixed an issue where the ability's visual effects would persist in place when the target that used the ability would, uh, would stealth or become invisible. Also, for restoring light and purify, they fixed an issue where the synergy's uh, healing was being uh, kind of acting odd or not working correctly in some situations. This will result in a minor increase in the healing done. So, overall, mainly for the Templar, it was mostly bug fixes or you know issues where there was a problem with one of the abilities not working as intended or not really being, uh, since they've made some changes, not being listed or make kind of confusing people exactly what the morph or the ability might do. So they're trying to make sure that they're changing the names, you know, to prevent kind of confusion uh, to, so you'll know exactly what buffs you're getting from each individual, you know, or if you're getting in power or whatever the case could be from the abilities themselves. But also they wanted to fix some of the issues that were causing the abilities do not work as intended. So this mainly is not really any nerfs or buffs for the Templar. Nothing's really going to change. It's not going to be stronger or weaker or anything like that. But some of these abilities, if you do use a Templar a lot, you may have noticed some of these issues. So this will be, I think, in a lot of people's minds, a good thing because instead of going for a lot of nerfs or a lot of buffs, Zoss seems to be kind of fixing some of the issues that have been in the game for a while because... As you all know, if you've played ESO for a long time, a lot of these things have kind of been a, a, a persistent thing over time. Uh, sometimes some of these might have gotten fixed over the years and caused other problems. So I'm kind of glad they're going back and looking at some of these issues and fix them instead of just kind of going with, you know, a lot of different nerfs or, or buffs for each individual class. So leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about the Templar in Update 37. Let me know if you're using a Templar. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.